Hamill almost, uh, you know, qualifying series standards, but uh, he took wins, so it's good to see that he's developed himself so well. Jesse Mendez, here's a replay of Jack right now. Um, I think it's a great start, nothing special. Here we go, Jack Robinson back up and riding, flying across the inside bowl, looking for the lip again. Bottom turn deep, straight up into the barrel. Wow, that was a really critical turn in a heavy section, and he just attacked that lip line. That was really <laughs> impressive. Watch the fins there, Jack. Uh, and that's the thing I think Jackson, um, he carries around with him, is that it's, he's like, hey, everyone's human. Everyone's the same. And in his eyes, it's like it doesn't matter who he has in his heat. They all can make mistakes. They all can uh, take, big, take wrong waves. So I have a chance here, and he believes all the time that he can get the heat win. Leo Firavanti lays into the first turn, goes for another big arc, beautiful clean face, and a third brings it down. Great surfing right there from the Italian. Uh, I really like the way he attacked that lip line to start with. Here's a replay. Take us through, Pete. Yeah, again, this is Leo um, straight into that first turn underneath. That uh, Again, that was probably the smartest move there was to get underneath that section. You go up and over and hit the lip. You can finally do it on that last end section. And Jack's up and riding on a beauty. Wow, look at this wave. Just looks like it's a firecracker. Comes flying through the tube, no problem. Big gouge on the open face. That was really fun to watch. Fist pump to boot. And Jack Robinson finding magic up against Leo Firavanti. That was pretty cool. All those waves. And to cap it off with our current number one, Jack Robinson. The glistening ball of this one. Jack Robinson, Jesse, look at this wave. Yeah, that transition in between the first turn and the barrel and coming out with so much speed, like Pete said, and just holding that rail for that long. In a, it's easy to do on a three-foot wave. When you're doing out at sunset, when it's six to eight foot, it's like you need a lot of technique for doing that. Yeah, I mean, again, watch it as he goes in. This is the first turn, right? Just carves it back, but he sets up the barrel, knowing it's going to come down line, bid face bottom turn. And this barrel squeezes at the top, and Jack reads it perfectly. Like, he comes out of the hole, and that's going to make that wave special because it carries so much speed. But then look at the technique. Watch the arm stay right there wide and then drives it through and keeps it low. And that's why that he's able to drive it low, and it keeps that rail down in the water. Just something with a bit of a wall, but not too much wall because it's closing out on the end bowl. That's where guys are getting great barrels. But you also have to watch out for what the heat's doing before you, so you can decide where to sit if you can go deep or if you have to sit on the end bowl. So there's a lot going on out there. Fault sometimes is just how the how the game rolls, and great technique there for Jack. Obviously, amazing tube rider, just look, makes it look so easy. That was just a, a a water bender. It did not look like it was going to barrel like that. Paddling, 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 right on. Got into that thing. He worked for that. Leo Firavanti laying it into it. Nice wrap. First turn going for something off the lip and comes down with it. Solid surfing. He's like, he's fist pumping it. But he definitely is in search of a solid score. 7.51. <laughs> he wants that's that speed. I mean, I don't you guys think aren't that's quick enough. <laughs> I think it, oh, that, was, that was a great wave from Leo too. Like, great combination of turns. Like, back to back. Nice critical finish. Um, just not enough scoring potential on that wave. Props to him, he did what he did. I was a 17-year-old kid at Snapper when I was um, when I first qualified. So, yeah, everyone saw me uh, pretty much grow up in front of their eyes, and here I am now, I think I'm like 25. You, see, you don't often get to have uh, John John putting up smaller numbers against you. Here we go, live action. Leo Firavanti wants the fight back, looking for a 7.34, used priority with 3.40 on the clock. He, can he come through it? And a mistake. Pete said something very important in John's. If you see their average score, I'll get back to you after Jack. Jack's here we go. Some live surfing. Jack's going to kick out. Probably identified that Leo didn't have a great wave, so he's going to get out of that one to go sit on it. Totally. They're very smart of him. He doesn't actually need to surf anymore because he's winning the heat. Three minutes left. He just needs to be smart. And There's some kicking and scratching right here going on. Jack Robinson likes it. It's got a clean face. He's coming off the bottom. Big outside gouge right there. Drops both hands back into transition, straight up into the white water. And he's going to come out on the face for a quick little turn to finish off here. So some great surfing right there by Jack. The 6-3-3, and this thing is over. Yeah, I mean, good work there, having the priority at the end of the heat, taking that wave. Even if he doesn't better the 6-3-3, got the heat win. Out at sunset, like, like 
what can you say to Leo, you know, like it, all time battle right there with Jack Robinson out in front.